Hello. My learners, my viewers, welcome again to the story of the patriarchs of the Bible. This great man, this our forefathers. Um, on the screen you're able to see where you can get the story and the account of uh, Joseph in the Bible. That is the book of Genesis. I want you to know this, that Joseph is great-grandmother. His grandmother and his own mother were all women who at first seemed not to be, they were actually unable to, 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 have, uh, to have children. For instance, Sarah, Joseph's grandmother, great grandmother was 90 years old before he had a baby. The baby was uh, a son who was named Isaac. Rebecca, Joseph's grandmother, was married to Isaac for over 20 years before they, they had a baby and then she, she had twins. We saw the twins. The, the twins were named Jacob, and and the, and the other was Esau. So Rachel, Joseph's mother, was was married to Jacob for a, a long period of time before she had a baby. So Joseph was her first child, and the, the, his other ten older brothers were the children of his father's three other wives. So. In each of these cases, prayers were offered to God, asking him to give the, the woman a child. And in each of the, the son that was born, in fact, we see that it was uh, yeah, the, 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 the son was specially, specially tuition yeah, by God to bring a blessing unto God's people. So Joseph was the son of uh, Jacob and Rachel. He was born when his father was uh, very old. Jacob made him a multicolored coat, a sign of his love to him. Joseph was a dreamer and uh, he, he, he told his father and his brothers of how we had dreamed that they all will bow down before him. He interpreted dreams in the power of God. So he had other 11 brothers. So because of uh, all that, what he said about his dream, his brothers were jealous and envious of him and they, and they decided to kill him. So Reuben is the one who suggested that they throw him into a well instead of uh, killing he, their dear brother. But later on, Judah is the one who suggested that they, they sell him to the Ishmaelites. The Ishmaelites paid them 20 silver coins. Then the Ishmaelites later on sold him to the Egyptian officer uh, called Potiphar. At Potiphar's house, uh, Joseph was faithful, was respectful, and very hardworking. This led him to, uh, this led Potiphar to have a lot of trust in him, and he put him in charge of everything that he owned. So both of his wife admired Joseph and, and wanted to have sexual intercourse with him, but uh, through the power of the Holy Spirit, Joseph overcame the temptation. Later on, the both of his wife actually lied and accused Joseph that he wanted to rape her, so he was put in jail. In jail, uh, the Joseph continued to work very hard and uh, and, who, and later on he was put in charge of uh, other prisoners. It is here in jail, he interpreted the baker's dream and also the wine steward's dream, and the dreams came to be. So it happened that the fellow the king also had a dream and they forgot about that dream. Later on, when he called the others, the sorcerers and the, the witchcraft and the magicians of the country, they were not able to tell the dream and neither interpret is a dream it is when the wine steward remembered Joseph's interpretation of his dream and the king was told who sent for Joseph to come and interpret uh, his dream Jacob was released and and uh, Joseph actually was released and uh, and uh, and made the governor 
So what was the king's dream? The king dreamed that he was uh, standing by the river Nile. He saw seven fat cows emerge from the river and fell on uh, on um, on grass. Then seven tiny and bone cows came up and ate the seven fat cows. The king woke up and fell asleep and dreamed again. He dreamed that seven of seven years of corn, full and ripe, growing on one stalk. Seven other tiny and scorched um, corn sprouted and, and swallowed earth ones. Joseph explained to the Pharaoh that uh, there could be seven years of pamba harvest and seven, uh, seven years of drought. That's when he advised the king to build a stove and a store food in which it could be used uh, when finally the drought comes. So Joseph was made the governor. He managed the harvest well and stored enough food for the Egyptians and other neighboring nations. So he was very successful because he obeyed, trusted, and loved God. The drought eat other nations, including Israel. That's when Jacob, to save his father, sent his sons to Egypt to go and buy corn. When the brothers of Joseph come to Egypt to buy corn, he is the one who recognized them, but they didn't recognize him. Joseph was a God-fearing man, and instead of punishing them or mistreating him, he forgave them. So it is when they went back and uh, they were allowed to come and stay in, in, uh, in Egypt. So the Israelites came to Egypt through Joseph and they settled at Goshen. Joseph had two sons, Ephraim and Manasseh. My, my learners and my followers. What are the lessons do Christians, what are the lessons do we Christians learn from Joseph? At the Potiphar's house, Joseph overcoming temptations by trusting in who? In God and being faithful. He didn't want to sin against the Holy Spirit. In prison, God will always protect the innocent. He was put in prison unfairly, but little God protected him all the way. And it's from prison that he came out of that. And eventually was uh, 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 given a big post as the governor. When uh, he was the governor, what did he do? We learned that we should forgive each other. His brothers came in the his brothers came for food. He forgave them. He did not remember what they had done for him in the years before. And finally, for us to be successful, we should always obey and trust God. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to this channel for more of our, our Bible batch. Uh, batch in our next, next video, we love the story of uh, Moses and the children of Israel.